Just about a mile from Milby High School on Houston's east side, Houston firefighters tried to save a student, but quickly realized the situation was a recovery rather than a rescue. Two members of the technical rescue team jumped in the water, uh, seeing that there was one person that had gotten out of the car, believing that maybe somebody was uh, alive in the car, went down there to search and found a deceased uh, female. The teen's body was pulled from the water as distraught family and friends looked on. Shortly before 1 p.m., a uh, call for service came into HFD regarding a swift water rescue. According to Houston police, there were three teens in the car, two girls and a boy, when it appears it lost control and took out the guardrail on Broadway over Bray's Bayou before plunging into the water. The victim couldn't get out. The two others escaped and swam to shore. HPD says the male left the scene, but they eventually talked to him. With teenagers, uh, I'm sure there was a bit of panic, and we need to piece that together in terms of what exactly happened from the time of the incident to the time that we spoke to that person. HPD's crash reconstruction unit will do the investigation, which will include determining who was driving and what led up to the crash. The damage to the guardrail indicates significant speed, HPD says. Tonight, Milby's principal sent this communication to parents and students, quote, I have sad news to report to you. One of our students died today while off campus. As you can imagine, this is a terribly difficult time for our school community. As such, counselors will be available on campus to provide support to students and staff and answer any questions they might have. It will be a somber last day of school. In East Houston, Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.